Welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. I am JDZ Gaming Empire, and it is time to level my character up. And we are going to go down the Tempest Path, and I'm going to take this Fury of the Storm. When your stamina is exhausted, you fight even harder, lashing out with Fury to win the fight. You get a plus three to our Constitution, 10% uh, damage bonus, and 50% uh, low stamina threshold. So I assume this is telling me if our stamina gets below 50%, then this will kick in. So let's go ahead and learn it. Now I think the next one I might get is this, just so I can get this flask of lightning, which will increase our speed. Everyone on the battlefield except you moves much more slowly for a short time. Can't use this ability while another elixir is active. Okay. So then we'll have to figure out where we're going to put that on our bar there. If we decide to activate it. All right. I think it's time to um, go down into this cave. Let's remove this marker now, I guess. And we'll when we finish the cave, we'll see if there's anything else around here go do Colossus of Orle I wonder if this if we're gonna find some notes in here or one of the um, treasures Colossus of Orle hmm <clears throat> excuse me all right let's um let's head on down there's some enemies oh oh Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Now we got the lurker involved. Okay, so we're going to be dealing with spiders. No problem. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go on down. All right, there's another spider down here somewhere. No loots. Oh, okay. All right, you guys ready? Uh, Solus, why don't you go ahead? Choose some veil fire. There's another spider in here somewhere. It's like this. Might be a lower level. I saw um, an enemy on the mini map. Okay, let's go on through here. Ooh, that looks ominous. Okay, yep, this is one of the... We should be able to get something in here for this. It's another little puzzle. All right, let's read the first one. The surface of where they would hide from the war that took their home. The strife that destroyed tides sundered houses from weapons the clan used against clan. His own clan and his two sons followed Pharaoh to the pitless surface. Oh man, this is continuing information. Hey boy. Pharaoh Paragon fled from the strife his brilliance craft created. Okay. 
Sounds like it might be the starting one. Beryl Paragon fled from the strife his brilliance created. Uh, let's read this one again. Surface where they would hide from the war that took their home. And okay, no, I don't think that would be next. Strife that destroyed Tide sundered houses from weapons that clan used against clan. His own clan and his two sons followed Theriel to the pitless surface. I think this one's going to be first. These are getting a little tricky now. Okay, nothing attacked us. Oh! Get on spiders. You know I'm trying to read? What are you doing? Okay, <clears throat> there's another one coming. Where's it at? There it is. And another one. And I finish reading. Thank you. Please and thank you. Okay. <laughs> now I'm trying to remember. And where's that veil fire? Okay, we can light it from anywhere. Okay, so this one I lit. Feral Paragon fled from the strife his brilliance created. That... Strife that destroyed Tide sundered houses from weapons that clan used against clan. I think I'm going to go with this one because they were just talking about the Strife in the first inscription. So let's maybe light this one. Okay. Okay. Um, I guess that was right. His own clan and his two sons followed Feral to the pitless surface. That sounds like that might be next... The surface where they would hide from war that took their home. Yeah. Because now I'm following this story. It said that his clan and his own two sons followed Pharaoh to the pitless surface. Let's light this one. Okay, and then let's light this one. Whoa! What? At least we'll have shelter if the wind comes up. No. Will there be a storm? Better pray not. I was caught in a desert storm once. We dug in, expecting sand, but what we got was Wait, what is this thing doing in here? We've never seen anything like it. We climbed some rocks, but it was days until the waters went down. Lost our supplies in the flood. For a while, I thought we'd end up starving. Or bashing in Wilfred's head for a stew. Mmm. Oh, gosh. Okay. All right, let's collect all this loot. Can we not get attacked anymore? That would be nice. Okay. Now, it should have opened up some door, right? Yeah, over here. Okay, mosaic piece. Take that. Seven of twelve found. Okay, key fragment. Yes, yeah, serpent's rage is a schematic. Tier 3 Axe, and then a Superb Ring of Sun Ring, which we won't use. Piece of a larger key. Okay, how many fragments do we have? Follow the treasure map to the tomb. We have three now? Uh, let's look at the journal quest. Follow the treasure map to the tomb. I wonder if there's one... Okay, we've done the... Hmm. Is this saying we've we've found the canyon tombs treasure? 
the graveyard tombs treasure, the statue tombs treasure. Which one was this? And where is it at? Is it going to show us on the map now? No. Nope. Uh, where we needed to go was over where we fought that dragon. And I left that loot. Okay. So I think we still have another treasure map to find. Maybe it's over in this area that we haven't cleared yet. Huh. Okay. All right, it's time to get out of here. So maybe one more? You guys are relentless. Oh, okay. That was quick. <laughs> Very quick indeed. Okay, there was another area. Um, we go over in here. go too far that sandstorm is kicking up yeah I think this might be it though there's some enemies down in there let's see let's continue Rock Top Ridge, which we'd already discovered once before. We add on the map. Okay. We got to deal with you. far as we can go so let's remove this and let's put a marker over here fast travel back over here oops word for you uh do we need to do anything with our potions Discovered the Rippling Dunes. Regions in the Waste. Quest completed. Okay, great. So maybe there is something over here. Since we've not been here before. Man, those lurkers are everywhere. Oh, that 
That was a waste. Killed him. Oh, here's another one down here. I've been thinking. Oh, this should be good. I was about to say that you're too hard on yourself, Blackwall. Too hard on myself? Is this setting up a punchline? You're <laughs> not the thug I thought you were. You're not the thug anyone thought you were. Here it comes. Point is, you should let yourself off the hook. I know bad men, and you're not one. I'm not sure how to respond. Aww. Of course not. Let's not go crazy with defying expectations. Wow, look at that. I don't know if that's definitely not a moon. I don't know if that's another planet or what. But it's huge. Okay, we made it here. Anything over this way? Now we're backtracking a little bit. Once we finish here in the Hissing Waste, we're going to focus on the main story. Actually, I don't know if we have anything left to do other than the main story. That's of any importance anyways. All right, there's definitely nothing over here. Just desert. Sand. Um, well, let's... um. Over here, there's not much left to uncover. Maybe there's something over here. Hmm. All right, let's go. Is this the world something over here what is this note treasure it's a venture banner crown okay the first blight chapter three the world during the first blight was different from the world we know today. Aside from the civilized rule of the Imperium, humans as a race were largely barbarous and splintered, divided into clans and tribes, and squabbling amongst ourselves for resources. 
At the same time, deep beneath Thetis' great mountain ranges spanned a dwarven culture as organized and advanced as ours was primitive. As the dark spawn bubbled up to the surface from their underground lairs, mankind first buckled and then fought back. The armies of Taventer attempted to face down the multitudes of twisted creatures and the horrid rotting of the land around them, but they could not be everywhere at once. Human history remembers the first blight as a time of terrible devastation, and those stories are accurate, but in our arrogance we often forget the price paid by the dwarves in their isolated mountain kingdoms. The dwarves faced far greater hordes than humanity as the darkspawn challenged them for control of the underground. Despite the might and technology the dwarves brought to bear, the savage darkspawn tore through them, first destroying the more remote tides before swallowing up entire kingdoms. Think of it, an entire civili civilization lost in the space of decades. Compared to the near genocide that the dwarves faced, what we humans call the first blight, must have seemed a mere skirmish. Against the darkspawn, the dwarven lands have always borne the brunt of the fighting and the majority of the sacrifices. Four dwarven kingdoms finally managed to combine their might and fight back, and that cooperation saved them. But for the rest of their lands, it was too late. The darkspawn had taken the deep roads, the, de the majestic underground passages that linked the dwarven lands throughout Thetis. The darkspawn could now attack anywhere on the surface through these tunnels. Humanity simply was not prepared for such an onslaught. It was clear that the warfare we knew would not avail us. We had to find a new way to fight. Thus came our salvation. The great, the Grey Wardens were born. Oh, that's so interesting. From Tales of the Destruction of Thetis by Brother Genitibi, Chantry Scholar. Oh, wow. So all this started, the Grey Warden started with the dwarves. Very interesting. Hey. I don't think there's anything over here. Oh, elf root. Elf root. That's a first. I've not seen elf root around here before. And some more elf root. Okay, where else do we need to explore? Um, let's keep going over here, I guess. Put a marker there. <clears throat> oh, there's still this question mark here that we need to go check out too. Okay, let's uncover all of this. Solus, uh, maybe you should not be running ahead. Maybe you should let Blackwall take the lead. over there well I don't know if we've been over there we may have but let's continue there's another one of these white trees on the ground who's fighting I saw some damage. I saw a damage number fly up. Nothing over here? has been cleared. Let's remove this marker. On 
one over here. been here. Recognize that scaffolding. And we were going to come out this way uh, from the other side. I think we found that lady over here. Maybe not. Could be wrong. This looks familiar. Let's see. Let's go up here and see. Yeah. Okay. So we're back here. This camp is right there. Let's head over to this camp and then let's see what this is about. Put a marker there. And do we have all of our landmarks? Yeah, we do. Okay. What about shards here? Yeah, we do. Oh, there's some more shards in the hinterlands that we can go find. Great. Then maybe we can finish that quest. So we won't be going to do the main story yet because I'd like to really get that done. Okay, we still need two notes. Hmm. I've been all over this place. Well, obviously I haven't been all over this place. Okay, there's something down here. Let's go down here. There was an um, exclamation mark. Down here. Did I not go down here? I can't get that. Yeah, I've been down here. What? Haven't I been down here? No, I guess I didn't go down here. Demons of the stone, until further notice, do not tamper with the torches. Lighting them in the wrong order summons demons. The inscriptions on the pillars indicate the correct order. But wait until we have confirmed the accuracy of our translations before proceeding. I have made maps to other tombs where there are similar structures. Let the same warning stay your hand there, Magister Gallus. Below this, someone else has written complicated formulas and scribbled many notes. Demons bound into the rock. How did the ancient dwarves manage it without mages? Binding runes? Subtle properties of stonework? Investigate. Ganju carved into walls. Could be translated from old dwarven as stone waste or impure spirit of the stone. Dwarven superstition saw demons as impure spirits of rock? Study. Impossible with dormant demons. Ask Cephas and Urethus for help with binding. Oh! <laughs> So we were supposed to come down here. <laughs> Almost makes it seem like we were supposed to come down here first. So we definitely have not did this yet. Okay, Solus. Do y'all find? Maybe this is the last one. So it's telling us if we don't get the order right, then demons kind of fight. Whoa. Hey, wait a minute now. Why are we fighting demons now? What? I'm confused.
off me. Whoa, that was that was crazy bonkers. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we didn't even read anything. All we did was light the veil fire. But okay. Here. Oh. Okay, we can't open that until we till we solve the puzzle. Alright, uh Solus. Let's go pick up this veil fire. Where's it at? Thought I dropped one. What? Did I not I dropped the veil fire? Why do I have to light it again? All right. Okay, let's read these inscriptions. This is find the mountain fortress's tomb's treasure. This is the mountain fortress. Man, we could have been done with this if I would have just, you know, went down here. Ugh. Oh well, let's proceed. And for loss, these halls were made to honor a brother Morn. Okay, that's definitely not the first one. This is the tale of Pharaoh, paragon among paragons, father of two sons. That sounds like it possibly could be the first. We'll find out. Let's finish reading. For pride, these halls were made to honor a father's deeds. Who, against their father's wishes, fought from foolish words and foolish pride. Hmm. Okay. This again? This is definitely not the first one. And for loss, these halls were made to honor a brother mourn. Somebody got killed. This is the tale of Pharaoh, paramon among paragons, father of two sons. I'm pretty sure this is the first one. All right, let's go with, okay, if this is the first one, this is the tale of Pharaoh, paragon among paragons, father of two sons. I think that might be the last. Maybe. Okay. For pride, these halls were made to honor a father's deeds and grieve his loss. Hmm. Who against their father's wishes fought from foolish words and foolish pride. Well, that. One over there is talking about his son passing away. This makes it seem like this might be the last one. Oh gosh, now I'm getting confused. Okay, yes, yes. No, can't be that. That's talking about his loss. Ugh. All right, let me. Okay, that's got to be last. So maybe this one first, and then over there, and then over here. Well, we're gonna find out. It's like this one. Okay, that seems to be right. All right, like this one. Okay. Um, read this again. And for loss, these halls were made to honor a. Okay. Thinking over here. Pride, these halls were made to honor a father's deeds and grief his 
loss. Hang on a minute. Grief is loss. I'm gonna go with this. Oh gosh. Both of these would be good endings. Well, we're gonna like this one. Okay. Then like this one. Got it. A moment too soon. Hey. You still haven't explained how you didn't starve in the desert. Wilfred found berries growing on top of the rocks we were stranded on. It was that or nothing. An hour later, he started screaming. We both started screaming. Poison? Uh, no. I wouldn't call it that. I was convinced a ring of nugs was singing sea shanties to us for two nights running. All right, we're done. Let's put this down. Go on in here. This is it. There's a piece. Take this. Eight a twelve. There's still more mosaic pieces around here. Oh, maybe they're going to be in that tomb. Tomb of Ferial. All right. Torn paper. Directions drawn on a tattered piece of paper and a key fragment. Superb ring of attack. Okay, take all of that. Yeah, that is the map where the dragon was at that we need to go into. Tomb of Pharaoh key fragments found. What? There's another key fragment? <laughs> I thought I found them all. Find the mountain fortress tomb's treasure. What? There's still more? I thought I found them all. Guess not. There's five key fragments. Are you kidding me? Oh man, I thought I was done. All right, where else have I not seriously looked? Um. Well, there's this over here. Let's fast travel here and see if there's anything over this way. I don't know where else I need to go. This, we couldn't go any further. If I remember correctly. Um, we haven't, I guess we haven't been up here. All right, let's start over here. Let's put a marker here. Let's go over here. I have to look this up instead of running all over the hissing waste. All right, I'm not stopping to get crafting components. We're just gonna trek on over here. Okay, that's we're running into the fog there or not the fog but the uh, sandstorm maybe it was just blowing no I don't know okay let's keep going there's nothing over here though it's open area yep we can't go any further Okay, nothing there. Been up there and into that cave. That's where this merchant was. That tomb there. And an overlook. 
We got all of the landmarks. Okay, I guess let's put a marker here. Let's fast travel over here. Yeah, we've been over here I don't know how many times. seem like I can attack this. That's weird. Very weird. Alright, how do I get down here? Where am I going? Oh, right, right here. <sighs> Goodness. Been in there. We've been there. You can't even get through there. And over there, there's more baddies over there. I'm not concerned about. takes us to the other side. I don't have time for you. Oh man, I did not want to use that ability there. Hit the wrong button. Oh well. <laughs> I was trying to do a leaping um, Okay, we can't go any further. <sighs> okay. Where else? Where else? Need five key fragments. Well, let me pause and look this up because I don't want to keep running all over. So, I'll be right back. Okay, it looks like we need to go to this camp because it's the um, quest is telling us find the mountain fortress tombs treasure. And this is the mountain fortress camp. So maybe we didn't go in this tomb, but let's, um, let's, well, can, can, I'd like to click on the camp, please. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Can I click on, can I? Thank you. Oh my gosh. Let's go to the camp. <laughs> Jeez Louise, this Quick, game. If you have a moment. No, I'm sorry. I'm on a mission. I don't have time for your requisitions. So, now let's put a marker over here. Because there was a, yeah, blocked door over there. So maybe once we go through the, 
through this tunnel, we can open up this blocked doorway. I don't know, but we're gonna we're gonna head out. The swore. Okay, yep, that's the blocked passage. I thought we went up this way, but I guess we didn't. Maybe I went up that way. I don't know, but we're going to go up through here. Obviously we maybe didn't. Cause why we did some fighting in here. We did do some fighting in here. Okay, so I obviously missed something. Did we not go down here? That's where we went down there. Alright, let's keep looking real quick. Sure I didn't miss anything. Well, obviously I missed something. Yeah, we've been to this camp. Alright, let's go down. Let's go down into the cave. Not seeing anything else around here. Okay. Yeah, we killed all the enemies here. Obviously, I missed something down here. But I said I thought I collected everything from down here. Maybe there's something else in here. Yeah, we've been in here. I specifically remember coming in here. Let's go through here. Okay, there's another ladder. Remember this. Yeah, we found that artifact for Solus. We not do this? <gasps> we didn't come in here? What an idiot I am. Because these are not lit. Oh gosh. My goodness. I feel like an idiot. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious me. Okay, so this is the Mountain Fortress tomb. All right. Solus. Um, this is the only one. Uh, we need some veil fire. Let's get some veil fire. Jeez. Jeez and Louise. Inscription. Burial hewed the stone and built as great as any tig in the deep. Okay. But in the sand was stone, strong and true. And with his son's help, he ensured the tig prospered and grew. That sounds like something would be last. The sun burned above oceans of sand. Okay, the sun burned above oceans and sand. Okay, that doesn't... I'm thinking the sun burned above oceans and sand is the first one. But in this, 
but in the sand was strong, but in the sand was stone, strong and true. So we're gonna light this one. Light this one. Pharaoh hewed the stone and built as great as any tide in the deep. Yep, that's next. And then this one over here. And with his son's help, he ensured the tide prospered and grew. Yeah. Fine. But let's not linger. Not fond of deserts after what you've been through? I didn't even tell you the worst of it. We woke up three days later, no armor, surrounded by hungry ghasts. The first thing I saw was the little monsters trying to drag us off into some dank pit. How did you escape? You'd be surprised what a man armed with a rock and a headache can do. Mm. Okay, mosaic piece, nine of twelve. There's still three mosaic pieces around here that we have not found. Okay. Is this... This should be the last key fragment. All these pieces of metal inside the tombs we found, they make up a key. Ingenious. Let us see what it unlocks. Okay, so now we can finally go back to the um, Dwarven Relic. I don't believe I came all the way down here and missed this. What? I just can't get over it. What an idiot. That's a new move. Um, where's the ladder? Right here. So to even finish this quest, you would have to fight that dragon. Unless you could sneak by her, because she was sleeping when we came up to her. We can't forget to try and get that loot that's on top of the stone. Now, was there a camp close by? That would be the question. Let's see. Uh, no. Not really. The closest camp is this one over here. Alright, let's make our way over here. Put a marker here. Let's fast travel here.
have never been to this location before. It was all right. I enjoyed it. What are y'all fighting? Come on. Let's go. We don't have time to mess around with anything. We want to get to the, the dwarven relic and retrieve it. Those are just popping into the world. So this is a canyon. Uh, let me keep going. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think this is the right way. Yep, Tomb of Pharaoh. All right. Good, good, good. Now. Remove the marker. And that loot was over here. Yep, right there. Let's see, can we go this way? Oh, barely missed it. Okay, so we can jump. Maybe I just need to fall off. There we go. Dwarven plate. Okay. Boom. Down this way. How did you get hurt? Now, I don't know if you would be able to sneak behind that dragon or not. Maybe. Go around to the far right or the far left. Now, what awaits us in here? Sesame. Yes. Oh, 
Oh, look at this place. This is so cool. What? This is all the bigger it is? Okay, there's a mosaic piece in here, but still not all of the pieces that we need. We're missing two in this area. Whoa. Okay. Promise of the storm. Broke only. It's a dagger. Herb ring of barrier penetration. Take all of this. I've never seen a rune like this before. Is this what the Venatori were after? Men have died in the desert for worse things. But not you. Wilfred. Damn fool survived a flood, a bout of madness, ghasts, even a wyvern that stalked us halfway out of that wasteland. A day out from civilization. He did the stupidest thing you can do in a desert. What's that? Tried to steal someone's water while he was sleeping. Make it help us. We left the idiot bastard's bones where they lay. Hmm. Yeah, I was just counting. We're missing. We found all the regions. This it um, must be. Well, is it set? Yeah. Okay. Pieces of an old Tevinter mosaic are scattered across the hissing waste. If recovered, they could be reassembled. It says we've only found ten of twelve in this area. Hmm. So where would the other pieces be that I missed? You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. What we're going to do is I tell it out of here. We'll see if we can find the other shards in the hinterlands because those are going to help us open that last door. So there are, there's one left in the exalted plains. I'm not going to worry about that one. But there's five left here in the hinterlands. All the rest pretty much found. So let's go back to the hinterlands. It's over here. And let's mark this collection. Oh, hmm. Looks like we need to find an Oculus. Because there's nothing popping up here, okay? Well, I tell you what, let's just fast travel here. And it's time for me to end this episode anyways. So we'll fast travel back to Redcliffe Farms Camp, and then I'll try to figure out where the, uh, well, there's an Oculus there. So it's probably not going to be there. Anyways, I'll figure that out. I'll just fast travel here. And then when we come back, we'll figure out where we need to find these last few shards. Because we need... How many in here? How many more? Um... We need, oh man, we need six more. 
So we are going to have to go all over because the hinterlands are missing five. Man, we're going to have to go. We're going to have to go to the exalted plains. Ugh. But I would like to complete that quest. I've never completed it. Mainly because I hate hunting for shards. Anyways, let's fast travel over here. And we'll end the episode here. Okay, we are back in the hinterlands at Redcliffe Farms. And we're going to end this episode right here. We are done with the hissing waste. And when we come back, we're going to go see if we can't find these last six shards. So we can open up that door and see what goodies are behind there. Probably nothing we could use at the level that we are currently at. But anyways, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this playthrough of Dragon Age Inquisition. And if you are, if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, it's free to do both. And I will see you guys on in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.